Well, we had that, but didn't. No, but back in January, we missed it. Uh, weather, the weather was really bad. Okay. Yeah. You'd ask whether or not. Okay. Yeah. You'd ask whether or not. We had to go home. Right. Decided not to hold it because not people weren't able to. That's right. I knew there were. Well, the three breakouts. We've had in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight,
of the cabinets and the entrance and exits of your house begin to sag and tilt, you know there's a problem with the foundation. So they had the foundation shored up. You see those people advertising that all the time with all kind of stuff. And I'll never forget when they were digging down under the foundation to put this stuff under there to help lift and raise and level it. All there was was gumbo, no pit run. Whoever built that house, and I understand that there were a lot of them out there that way, whoever built that house simply cleared off the grass, put up the forms to pour the concrete, and poured the concrete, well, they had to dig out for plumbing, and poured it. And they were told when they first moved there, that, I mean, this was not a new problem, put a soaker hose around your house, in the dry time of the year, let it keep it going so that the ground stays wet and it won't the ground it won't move as much. Mm -hmm. Now some of you may not be familiar with gumbo, but it's the kind of stuff that if you can stick with it in the summer, it will stick with you in the winter. <laughs> if you don't understand that, you don't know anything about gumbo. It will build up on your tires to the point that you cannot drive in the wintertime or when it's wet. But when it dries out, you can see the chatter. You know, the cracks will get wide. You can look down there and you can put a water hose in it, try to fill it up, and you can't fill it up. That's the reason I think it goes all the way down to Chattanooga. You know, you can't fill that hole up. Foundations are essential. Mike McMorris was telling me about somebody that wanted him to, to build a house for them. And he knew it was gumbo there. And he gave them a couple of different bids. He said, now, you know, here's what it really needs so that you can be assured that you won't have any problems with the house. And here's what we can do to get by, but it eventually it's going to give you some problems. Well, they chose to go the cheaper route. And he warned them. He said, he said, and anything less than that, I won't even build it. But he warned them about the problem they would have. And sure enough, they had a problem, he said, later on. And, uh, and he said, well, I told you. <laughs> Foundations are essential. And Jesus is talking about the teaching. Whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them. A lot of people can hear the sayings and never do them. Now, that includes us, doesn't it? Because he didn't say whoever, in talking about just the people there, whoever hears these sayings of mine. We've just heard them in the course of this study. As you've read them through the years, you've, you know what they say. It involves anybody who's ever read the sermon, these three chapters of uh, Matthew, heard them preached on or talked through, whatever. If you've ever heard them at all, we're going to be held accountable for what we did with them. Whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him and to the wise man who built his house on the rock. It takes more money to build on a rock. It takes more time, more effort. <coughs> you think you'll never get to the point of building the house. Spending all this time and attention on a foundation. But if you don't, <laughs> it doesn't matter what else you put on it, it's not gonna last. In the same way with our lives, when we hear the, the things that Jesus taught here, if we will obey them, we're going to have a, a life that's pleasing to Him. And that will be a better life for us. Because he, he gave us directions on what to do and how to do it. And even though most of the time we only read the directions when we get into problems. You ever notice that? <laughs> Whatever you buy from the store, it's got directions there, but hey, forget that. We've got to start using them. But when you start running into a problem, then you have, where, where do we put those instructions? Or nowadays you can ask Google, and somebody has done a, a Google picture of what to do probably, and you'll be able to find out how, what to do. But I've noticed we only, run, we only do that when we run into problems. But you have the word in case you run into a problem. Go back to it. 
see what he says and start following the teachings that he gave because the rains will come the flood waters will rise the winds will blow he didn't say in fact if you notice both houses were faced with the same outward circumstances nothing was different it wasn't that with one that faced rain and flood and the other one faced wind. They both faced exactly the same situations of life. Both of them had the rain. Both of them had the flood. Both of them had the wind. But the outcome was different according to what foundation was under the house. That means, as we go back in the Sermon on the Mount, what did he say concerning the rain? and the sun shining on the just and the unjust. It's going to, do, it's going to come on both, isn't it? Rain's going to come on both. Sun's going to shine on both. We're all going to face similar situations in life. It's not that because you're a follower of Jesus and trying to do His will, you're going to have an easy life. No, He just said, if you follow this path, it's going to be a rough road. It's going to be a narrow path. Not many are following it but it's the path to follow because it leads to eternal life. He told us there would be trouble. But he also told us, and the beautiful promise is, lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. I mean, to the end of the world, I'm going to be with you if you follow me. And I'll guarantee you, your life will be a whole lot better with him guiding you than trying to do it by yourself. Because we come to the end of our rope pretty easily. So the foundations are important. He first gave the wise men who would hit here and do. He's going to have a firm foundation being on a rock. The foolish person is looking for the better advantage. Think, think about it. On the sand, you don't have to worry about leveling anything out. You don't have to worry about getting the materials. They could bring it by water to the site where they're constructing it. I mean, we could go on and on with the advantages of that as far as the construction is concerned. But without a good, solid, firm foundation, when the rains come, the floods rise, no, I won't make you sing the song, and the winds blow. You remember the song, don't you? Rains came down and the floods came up. Y'all remember. <laughs> and the house on the rock stood firm. The house on the sand went flat. <clears throat> it fell. So what will we do? We're the one who's making the choice. We're the ones who have to determine what type foundation we're going to build on. So the failure to take the under... Uh, to undertake the painstaking task of building on solid rock will ultimately defeat the builder who is trying to cut corners or what, for whatever reason, or to go an easier route. Or, you know, there are various excuses people give for not following the teachings of the Lord, aren't there? You know what the excuse is? It's been a long time since I've shared with y'all my definition of an excuse. It's the skin of a reason stuffed with a lie. Think about it. There's a little bit of truth to it maybe, but a whole lot more untruth to an excuse. And if you need one, the devil's got a handful, shovel full, as we used to say all the time. He'll give you all you need. But for whatever reason, he didn't build on a solid foundation. He suffered the consequences of... Uh, of not doing so. It's not a mental or intellectual deficit when that happens, when you build on the sand. It's a problem with the heart. And that's what Jesus had just been talking about uh, when he was talking about the, the gate and the prophets, you know, false prophets. It was about looking inside at our heart and seeing what our heart says. <coughs> Jesus, who guides the heart, you're seeking his will that inner self and I'll never forget when they started doing bypass surgeries 
and that's been a long time ago now. Frank Francis was one of the first that I remember from here who had that. And he, huh? Yeah, Mr. Crow had it, but he was after Frank Francis, I remember. But I'll never forget Frank coming and talking to me following that, and he said, here's what the doctor warned us about, how it's gonna affect your emotions. I mean, all they did was open them up, go in there, do a bypass, close your back up, but your emotions are affected greatly by that. And it made me think about what the scripture says about our heart. It's more than just an organ that pumps blood throughout your body. It is the seat of the emotions, I believe. We'd seen that for years in the Bible, but only when they started doing these surgeries did we get a glimpse of what really might be with regard to that. You, you, you know too. You've been there too. You cry more easily. He told me. He said they told me don't get in crowds for a while. It's going to take a while for your body to kind of be able to adjust. And I, I, I remember a lot of the things he shared with me that they told him that my mind went back to the Bible about the seed of the emotions. Is it, and we've debated for years, is it the mind? Is it the heart? The heart's just pumping blood. How can it be the seed of the emotions? <laughs> and yet everybody who had bypass surgery were having emotional issues. You remember you, for these kinds of things? Oh. It's a heart problem, Jesus said. That's what he was stressing here. Uh, Christians can't rely on traditions and laws, but the guidance that comes through an intimate relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. The scribes and the Pharisees were going by the laws, and they could check them off. You'd have loved to have had a Pharisee as a neighbor. You've been the best neighbor you could have ever had. But he wasn't going to heaven. He's keeping the law, doing everything the law said, but he had a heart problem. So that's what Jesus is getting at in this Sermon on the Mount. What then is wisdom? How does the Bible define it? Let me point you once again to the pupil's book, page 90, if you have one. And what he says concerning wisdom. <clears throat> the book of Psalms in the Old Testament begins with one of the most famous Psalms, Psalm 1, considered a wisdom psalm because of its description of the flourishing life. Happy is the one, you remember how it begins, which is described via two different paths one can take, <coughs> either the way of the wicked or the life centered on God's revelation. The second Psalm focuses on the Messiah, God's anointed king on earth who will confound and overthrow all those who foolishly oppose him. These two psalms are intentionally tied together by using the same word, happy, flourishing, blessed, at the beginning and the end. It points us to chapter 1, verse 1, and chapter 2, verse 12. It's a helpful frame for considering what Matthew wants us to understand about Jesus. He... <coughs> <coughs> He's the anointed king who is also the teacher of true wisdom. Co the conclusion to the sermon is deeply connected with Psalm 1 on purpose to emphasize Jesus as the giver of wisdom. In many ways, these verses are a retelling of Psalm 1 by the ultimate son of David with an added urgency because of the imminent kingdom of heaven coming to the earth. Both Psalm 1 and Matthew 7, 13 to 27, invite hearers into the path of wisdom. Contrast two paths or ways of being in the world. Use fruit bearing trees as a key metaphor. Speak of final judgment and separation of the righteous from the wicked. Contrast those whom the Lord knows and those he does not know. And emphasize hearing and heeding God's revelation. At the same time, the conclusion ties back into the entirety of the sermon. The theme of wholeness that, is, that was used throughout the body of the sermon is what ties the triad of teachings in 
verses, uh, chapter 7, verses 13 to 27. Consistent across all three examples is Jesus' emphasis on true happiness coming only through greater righteousness or to use more, our more common language, true life is found in Jesus when we live wholehearted lives. And there were scripture verses on many of those showing the tie between it all. How he ties this back to Psalms 1 and 2. Then I love the fact that when he finished, so it was when Jesus had ended these sayings that the people were astonished at his teaching. He taught them as one having authority, not as the scribes. He knew what he was talking about, and he still does. His word is true. He will not contradict himself. It's the same beginning to end. It's guidelines for living to help us come into real life with him and then know how to live that life in him. And he'll help us to do it. The scribes simply taught what they knew because they had studied it a lot. But Jesus was the master teacher. And he showed it by how he lived as well as teaching it. And then verse 1 of chapter 8, when he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. They had been listening to him. And we know that they followed him wherever he went, crowding in to try to get close enough to hear, to learn more, to be healed, or to have some other need met. And he reached out to all. There were times that he grew tired and tried to withdraw away from the people. But usually they found where he was and went to where he was. There were times when he would, I, I almost see it as a decoy. He would send the disciples on ahead. Remember he told them, y'all go on and get in the boat and head over to the other side. I'll meet with you. And then he went up to the mountain to pray. Everybody saw the boats leaving and thought he's gone there. He was up in the mountain praying the only way he could get away from them and have some time alone. But he taught us that's important for us too, to have some alone time with him so that we can be at our best when we're out in the world before others. I hope and pray we'll follow him as closely as we can. A daily walk with him is important. Do you have any questions before we close with prayer? I'm going to let you out early. Yes. You mentioned gumbo on your property. Uh, you've seen in people's houses where they have cracks over the windows or doors and nail pops in the drywall. Mm -hmm. I learned this because I've worked with drywall for 40 years. If you're going to build a house on something like that, then make sure that that you put glue on every stud before you put your drywall up. Yep. <coughs> okay. That that will save you from cracks and, and nail pops when you build a foundation like that. Hmm. Or make sure you dig out as much of that. Some of y'all probably don't even remember, but when we were adding on to the front of the auditorium, on this side of the auditorium, we had to dig out six feet deep by, I forget, by two feet beyond where we were putting in the foundation and put compaction soil in its place because they said that soil would not hold that uh, addition that we were going to make onto the auditorium. And uh, I thought, that looks like good soil. And this isn't gumbo here, but it wouldn't support what was being put there. And so that was a lot of money. Yeah. Got six feet deep? For dirt. <laughs> I mean, that's deep enough to bury you in. <laughs> and it can bury a lot of people because they had a lot of space. And then to fill it with compaction soil. They had to do that with our driveway because the dump truck sank. Huh? I said they had to do that with our driveway because the dump truck sank. Right. And our driveway just made it soup. Right. They went down six feet. Oh, my God. And put compaction soil. So, you know, foundation is important. And the foundation of your life is Jesus Christ. That's the beginning point. 
That's where life begins in Him. Trusting. Repent means to turn around, turn away from, turn to Him. And then desire to follow Him. He'll show the way. Father, thank You that we can spend this time in being reminded of the greatest sermon You ever preached. And I pray that we'll go back and read these chapters again and again. And let you speak to our hearts through it because you have a way of, of helping us glean a new thing every time we go through it. And I pray, Lord, that that will be true throughout your word. And that we'll be faithful in following you. For we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all for being here. Have a blessed week. Hope to see you Wednesday night and again next Sunday.
kept landing. Well, so during the day, I don't know. And then she said, right, I mean, she said, this baby's going to be crazy. She said, the baby's going to be crazy. The baby's going to be crazy. Oh, my gosh, I've heard everything now. Yeah, I've never heard that. So I just thought I would share that. Okay, Patty, I remember that's not a problem. No, 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 no. What was our life? Take a half of a house. Half of a house and set it down. So we had to glue it to keep all this other stuff together. And that's where I learned when you, if you want to have a foundation that's uneven or whatever, make sure you glue your shit right. Uh, and uh, also, well, you know gumbo. You know gumbo. It dries and, and cracks and it moves all the time. And she, you can't move the flat on it. I'm saying it cracks all through the house. Right. Oh, the corners never right. And that's all of that lake wood subdivision built like that. Is the camera on? Miss Lake. And my husband in every house I've off. known oh, we've had members out there that had similar issues. When they started doing that, I got it. Mom and dad, I mean, yeah, mom and dad.